Hello, good evening, welcome to the 24's autumn concert replayed in lockdown. Uh, doesn't it now seem just like a luxury to have been able to get together and, and sing together back then? Uh, so another online concert, but at York, performance is very much part of your degree, whether uh, individually or in ensembles. Uh, and in lockdown, my colleagues and I have been talking a lot about how we can mark performance. And one of the biggest issues for any performer, whether standing up in the Jack Lyons Hall or at home in front of a microphone, um, is uh, consistency, how much of the time you can actually deliver at the level you are, what that is. And that feeds into concerts as well. Um, you know, you don't want to be the one who comes in early out of enthusiasm or cracks on a note because you are letting your enthusiasm uh, g get the better of you. Yet, actually, those are the bits that they're striving for that little bit extra that we all remember from live concerts. It's why we still go to live concerts and don't just stream music. No one wants bland technical perfection. And part of the difficulty, I think, of doing this chorally and in Western music is that whereas a modern British student might have an immediate emotional connection with a piece of, say, musical theatre, by the time you go back in the centuries or through different languages, uh, it's, it's less natural. So part of a job in the 24 rehearsal is not just to learn the piece together, but to strip back anything that gets in the way of that emotional connection, any music or poetic stylistic barriers, so the music can be appreciated on its own terms. And for this concert, that barrier was quite definitely the French language. Training your tongue and lips to produce vowels that English doesn't have uh, and consonants to relish them in a certain way, it's firstly a technical challenge, then an emotional one, and then you have to join that to the phrase and make it sound natural as if you're just poetically expressing yourself in that romantic way. Well, this is brain training of the highest order. And for me, it was summed up with one phrase in the concert, a single phrase in Lily Boulanger's Sous-Bois, which is about two lovers out for a walk in a sort of wooded park. And I want to read the phrase here um, because it gives me such pleasure, but also because the 24 you're going to be watching in your homes and they'll remember the fun we had with it just how far we had to go with it, how far over the top to get anywhere close. And lastly, just how shockingly badly I played the piano through some of those rehearsals until Hilary Suckling came along uh, to save us all. Uh, here's the phrase. Le rossignol chante dans l'ombre des bois. Nos cœurs sont d'accord et la nuit est belle. Elle nous appelle. Écoutons sa voix. Enjoy your 24.